Welcome to Time Off. In this video, we will show you how to use your manager account. Let's begin by looking at the calendar. On the calendar, you will find your own Time Off requests and the requests of the employees you manage. There are three kinds of Time Off requests. Full day, multi day, and partial day. When a request has a question mark on it, it is a pending request which means it has not been approved yet. To approve a request, select one from the calendar and choose the Approve button at the bottom. You can also choose to reject, cancel, or even edit the request. If you would like to cancel an already approved request, select the request from the calendar and scroll down to the bottom and click Cancel. At the right side of your screen, you will find different kinds of requests that are awaiting approval. First are My Pending, which are your own time off requests that are awaiting approval. User Pending is a list of all pending requests from employees that you manage. Instead of going through the calendar to find every single request, you can find them here. To approve a request is the same process. Select the request then click the appropriate button at the bottom. Cancellations are time off requests that employees you manage have requested to cancel. Depending upon how your account administrator has set up your account, cancellations will need to be confirmed or employees will be able to outright cancel the request without confirmation. Bank time are bank time requests employees you manage have submitted. Select the request and choose to reject, cancel, or approve the request. This option may or may not be available depending if your administrator has enabled bank time or not. If you would like to submit a time off request, click on time off request in the navigation menu at the left side of your screen. The first request type is for a full day. Select the type of time off you wish to take. Select the day you want to take off, then click submit request. Next is partial day. Choose the time off type, the date of the request, the start and end time of the request, then click submit. The last kind of request is a multi-day request. Choose the time off type, the first day and last day of the request, then click submit. Next, we will look at the Time Off Summary Report, which is found in the Navigation menu at the left side of your screen. By default, you are able to see your allowance, which is how much time you are allowed for that year, your balance, which is how much time you have left to use, and pending, which is time set aside for your pending Time Off requests. At the right side is the Time Off Summary. This is time that you have taken. Total means how much time you have taken away from work, and deducted is how much time has been removed from the balance of that time off type. At the bottom of the report is a list of all your time off requests. You can see all approved, pending, rejected, and cancelled requests. As a manager, you can view the time off summary information for the employees that you manage. You can do so by selecting one of your employees' names from the drop-down menu at the top. In the Manager section of the Navigation menu, you are able to perform tasks that relate to employees that you manage. You can submit time off requests for them in the same way as we've already seen, and run reports. We have several reports available, but we will only go over two of the most commonly used reports. Time off details and time off totals. Let's start with the time off details report. This report will allow you to see every request in detail during the specified period of time. By default, all users and time off types are selected. Specify which period of time you want to see the information for and click generate. Now we'll look at the time off totals report. Instead of showing you each and every request, 
it will show you the number of days an employee has taken off during the specified period. Thanks for watching and enjoy your time off account.